In the midst of the doom and gloom surrounding the current flooding across the country, Guyana's rice industry continues to shine under the gloomy skies of unseasonal rainfall earlier in the year and now an unrelenting May-June sky. With a first crop production of more than half a million tons of paddy, more than it did in the last crop of 2020. Production figures indicate that farmers of Region 6, 5, and 4 continue to lead the way, with several farmers reporting yields of up to 60 bags per acre in fulfillment of the yield potential of the GRDB 15 and 16, the last two releases from the GRDB's research station. In Region 6, rice farmers produced a total of 2.3 million bags of paddy from just under 59,000 acres, more than they did in 2020. Second crop, even though back then they broke several records. Blackbush recorded the highest yields per acre, with at least four farmers getting 50 bags per acre. I plant um, roughly about 70 acres. All right. Tell me about your experience this crop. Um, this crop here was... Uh, a good experience and um, the crop wasn't too bad and um, we didn't have too much bugs, paddy bugs and stuff like that. So we had a, a nice healing crop with, with a nice seal. What you got? Um, I got roughly, yeah, well, roughly cut 680 bag per uh, 50 acres, roughly if you check it one, 55 pounds, it'd be like roughly over 60 bags per acre. You did anything different than you do for the other crops? Um, well, <coughs> basically we're working towards the, um, the six point uh, rule and um, wherever where, where we didn't get to correct the last crop, we tried to correct this crop and eventually this coming crop again we will try to correct as much as we could get because sometimes the weather don't run as you planned so you can um, do the six point, uh, something you don't get all the six point correctly. Some farmers in Blackbush have gotten 60 bags an acre. Do you see yourself reaching that level? Exactly. Yes. I did, I did it. You got 60? Yeah. If you calculate at um, the, the GRDB um, weight, uh, they're using like, uh, I think, 143 pounds. Um, if, you mul if you do the calculation, I, I made a 60 bags per acre. In Region 5, farmers produced a total of 3.7 million bags of paddy with 99,000 acres, with an average yield per acre of 38 bags, or 5.8 tons. Across in Region 4, Keen Grove rice farmers retained their position on the production leaderboard with a yield per acre of just under 7 tons from just over 8,000 acres, consistently the highest in the country. In Region 3, Farmers harvested just over 720,000 bags of paddy from 20,000 acres, with a yield of 5.6 tons per acre, while in Region 2, 34,000 acres were harvested, with a yield of just over 1.1 million bags of paddy, at a yield of 5.7 tons per hectare. These numbers fly in the face of fears that much more would have been lost due to the bad weather, which had made dams in several regions hard or near impossible to traverse at times. But through the interventions of the Ministry of Agriculture, through the NDIA and local government bodies, disaster was averted. Agriculture Minister Zofika Mustafa has since praised the effort of Guyana's rice farmers who have excelled despite the challenges they faced. He pledged his ministry's continuing support for farmers as they prepare to return to the crop. What we have recognized also, this production has surpassed last crop's produ production. And this came about with a with, um, uh, with lot of challenges. We have seen the intensity of the rainfall over the last few weeks. And it has started early. Um, rather, many persons were preparing, and we from the Hydro a um, Ministry of Agriculture through the Hydromet office, we were looking at the um, rain starting around May, but it has started since almost the crop start um, since almost farmers start to, re um, to 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 reap their crop, and this was there were a lot of challenges. The dam became impossible. We had to do major repairs back again to the dams. We have to assist farmers to bring out their paddy, and despite all these. In, um, challenges. I want to commend both the farmers and our workers, uh, our, our officers, in achieving this type um, production. And I think that this augurs well for us. We have, we'll be moving to enhance um, next, crop, next crop production because I'm, I'm looking at next crop to be the, one of the largest crop in the history of our country. 
The efforts by farmers come in the wake of heightened efforts by the GRDB to work with them to improve their all-round agronomic practices, incorporating all or most of the six-point steps to a successful harvest. GRDB General Manager Acting Mr. Kuldeep Ragnod has been spearheading the restarted farmer training sessions at the community level, participating in sessions with small groups of farmers at bottom houses across the country. We have seen farmers uh, working or achieving you know, almost 60 bags, as a matter of fact, 60 bags per acre. We have about seven farmers in the country who would have, uh, would have obtained that yield in Blackbush Polar. There are about four farmers who would have received 60 bags per acre. And when you question those farmers, when you ask them what they would have done to achieve that amount, they basically tell you that they, they follow the six points, which are you know, seed treatment, uh, seed rate, using a decent seed rate, uh, sow at the correct time, applying fertilizer. We heard it a lot from the farmers today, applying fertilizer under dry conditions. They were draining their field and, and applying, especially urea fertilizer, under reduced um, level of water and irrigating the land soon afterwards. But more importantly, using these NPK fertilizers, especially 625-25. Majority of these farmers would have done a soil test and they're using those results and the recommendation from the from the soil test to um, to apply the fertilizer as a guide to apply fertilizers to the plant. We're seeing a lot of lot of these NPK are, are being used. Um, most of it, you know, in the in the first dose, but a lot of it are being in, uh, used in the second dose as well. Uh, it's split between the the first dose and the second dose. One farmer who was obtained 60 bags, he, he actually incorporated this, the 625-25. So these are, these are initiatives that the farmers are taking, and these are the, the, the teaching that we have promoted. But even as the first crop production effort and outcome have been outstanding, farmers now face a major hurdle going into the second crop. Many who had already sown may have already lost the crop, due to the heavy and continuous rainfall over the last few weeks. Damage to dams and the incessant rains may delay sowing for this crop and may ultimately negatively impact the target set for the second crop this year. Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa, in his emergency outreaches to flood-affected communities in the rice-growing areas, has pledged his ministry's help for farmers who had sown and lost their crops. This help will be defined and executed as soon as a proper assessment of what is needed is completed.